So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to get straight into your reading. This is a look at the next 48 hours. Oh my gosh, got cards flying already. It's going to be for the next 48 hours. So March 27th through the 29th. But let's get into it. Um, what's going on with my Taurus for March 27th through the 29th? If you're new here, welcome. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my readings. Also, if you would like a personal session, please check out the description box for that. And if you're into daily horoscopes, you can follow me on my Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot or my Twitter at Mystical Crystal. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. So first card we have as the overall energy, we have the eight of Pentacles in reverse. So hmm, some of you guys are really getting tired of having to work at a certain job. This is like literally having to constantly deal with just really rude coworkers or just people you don't necessarily get along with or just the work culture, excuse me may be uncomfortable, whether it's like a gossiping environment at your job or just very drama filled. Or again, you just don't necessarily feel like your job has integrity or what have you. You're just really tired of having to do something to make money. Um, some of you are also kind of just feeling a little burnt out. If you are an entrepreneur, you could be feeling as if like you've been just an overdrive when it comes to creating creating, creating, trying to stay on top of your business. And you may be just wanting to take some time off to just to be honest. Okay. Also with the eight of Pentacles in reverse, you're looking at what in your relationships or your romantic relationship isn't necessarily working. Um, the issue may be that the overall relationship isn't working or you guys are having issues with you. You both Constantly putting that work into the relationship to understand each other. But you could be giving up on that or you're you're realizing that your person may be giving up. Now, when it comes to your current energy, I do have the two of wands. So this is you having to decide which path is best suited for you. Um, are you going to continue on the same path that you're on currently or are you being pushed or pulled in a different direction in terms of how? You want to live your life. Some of you, this is a decision in terms of living where you're going to live. Others of you, this is a decision on whether or not you're going to continue on the path in terms of dating someone specifically or just letting that go. So these are some major decisions you're having to make for the sake of your future. Okay. Some of you also have like creative ideas or this thirst to be an entrepreneur, but you really don't know what path to necessarily take, what will be more financially lucrative for you. And that's also something you guys are having to decide. Now, when it comes to the Hierophant, when it comes to the challenge that may come up, this may be a marriage. Um, so some of you may be separated, not necessarily divorced from your person, still married, but just in separate homes or, you know, doing your own thing. And that may be a challenge because it's keeping you from being able to have a new relationship or some of you are dating someone new and you're not able to, um, like actually get married or do anything because yeah, you're still married. Um, also this could be, Hmm. Some of you guys are a little conflicted in terms of your spiritual journey. Sometimes you may have questions and concerns and you just don't necessarily feel like you're comfortable in your spiritual journey. Like when I say this, this could be you guys being a little too hard on yourself in terms of how far along you are in your spiritual journey. So say, for instance, you are someone watching and you're new to all of this. Right. Um, this could be an uncomfortable process when it comes to an awakening because it's like you're basically relearning everything that you thought that you knew at one point um so with the hierophant that may be a little bit of a struggle for some of you but anywho um another challenge that may be coming up you and someone that you may be interested in may have different 
religious or spiritual beliefs and you may feel like your spiritual beliefs may be a contradiction to theirs in some sort of way. But anywho, when it comes to the advice, we do have the six of pentacles. So there's a need for you to look at any area in your life where there's this instability, where you feel like you have to exert your time, effort, energy into something for you to barely get in, get any of that reciprocated back. So for instance, if you're in a relationship and you're the one who's always reaching out whenever there's arguments to apologize, you're the one always, you know, putting the money out to go to dinners and stuff like that. And this person don't never want to pay for nothing. Um, or like you just feel as if you're doing everything to keep the connection together. That's an imbalance because it should be an equal effort. Um, also with the six of pentacles now, same thing with your job. If you feel like you have to work extremely hard, work 10 hour days to make a certain amount of money, which is still not covering a lot of your bills, you may be better suited finding a job where you can, you know, of course be happy with the job, but not necessarily exert your energy or, you know, work a long extensive amount of time just to make enough money to just pay bills. Okay. Now, the outcome of this time frame, we have the magician card. So this is all about you stepping into your power in terms of realizing that you manifest what your reality is. Um, a lot of times we kind of try to disconnect or not disconnect. We try to ignore the fact that our mind has a lot to play with our reality. Um, even in the way that we, we look, the way that we go about things, our mind is literally the control of our reality in some cases. So with the magician card, this is recognizing that, yeah, you can manifest your own reality in a bad way or in a good way. Manifestation works both ways, okay? But you guys are trying to manifest something specifically at the end of this time frame, but you're not necessarily sure if things will turn around. This could be like a person specifically, um, finances, you could be trying to manifest a new job, but still being conflicted about what that looks like. So there's some big decisions that need to be made here. Now, the last card I want to discuss, Taurus, we have the acceptance card. So this is speaking to you for one, needing to accept yourself. If you are different, if you are, you know, if you love whoever you want to love. Okay. If you're, Learning about yourself in terms of your spiritual journey. This is accepting yourself in terms of not thinking you're weird because you're on a spiritual journey. Not thinking that you're, I don't know, a weirdo or anything like that because you have different spiritual beliefs. Um, understand that you have to accept yourself first before anybody else can accept you. Um, especially in terms of love, because for some of you, you could suppress your spiritual side or you could suppress your feelings for, for instance, for some of you, the same sex or, you know, you could be compressing certain things about yourself because you don't want other people to judge you and you don't want it to be a situation where people don't accept you for who you are. And then also when we're talking about acceptance with this card as well, this is speaking to accepting things as they are and asking the universe to help you and to guide you with certain things that you can't necessarily control. Some things literally just require you to be an acceptance of it because you can't necessarily change everything in your reality on your own. But this is what I see. I hope you did take something from this video if you did. Thumbs it up, subscribe, check out the description if you want a personal session with me. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one.